Okay, so this is my um, prana and nadi assignment, so I'm going to explain the concept of the prana and the nadis um, just briefly. So of course we'll start with the prana, and that is, um, that's the life force that flows through everything that we see. Um, it is the sort of animating energy, so it is the difference between a living, feeling, vivacious person and a cadaver. Um, all the same chemical compounds and parts and everything. Uh, just, of course, in a cadaver there's something lacking. They're not actually um, alive and experiencing anything. Um, so a good sort of pop culture reference is um, it's like the Force in Star Wars, just to kind of give people a bit of a reference there in case they're not entirely sure how to conceptualize it. So it's very much like the Force. Um, and like any energy, uh, especially within the body, that requires uh, different channels to flow through. So we have veins, we have arteries and everything uh, for blood to flow through to help give us life. And in much the same way, prana flows through channels called the nadis. Now, in the human body, there's about 72,000 nadis, but thankfully, yogis are only concerned with the three main nadis. Um, and they are the ones that we can actively help fill um, ourselves with more prana energy to help us achieve a state of yoga. Um, and they run up the center of the body. So. First, I'll start with the Ida Nadi, and that is on the left side of the body, and it is um, it channels all of the feminine cooling energy, uh, all of the energy associated with the moon. Um, it begins on the left side of the body, sort of in line with the base of the spine, and it will spiral all the way up and terminate at the left nostril. Um, and of course, because all energy and all life requires balance, on the right side of the body, we have the Pingala Nadi, and that is um, it's the one that channels all of the masculine and heating energy and energy associated with the sun. So it also begins on or in line with the base of the spine, but it is on the all on the right side of the body, and it will spiral up and terminate at the right nostril. And then because yoga, one of the translations is yoking, of course, we bring them both together in the Shashumna Nadi, and that begins at the base of the spine, where your root chakra is, and travels all the way up the center and spirals up through your crown. Um, so when the uh, Ida and Pingala Nadis are both full and in balance, we can begin to channel the energy up the Shashumna Nadi to help us achieve that state of peace and balance and contentment and yoga. Thank you.